Hey, what's up everybody? Our Boots Games here and welcome back to my Minecraft survival. Last episode we built this uh this minecart station, train station they called it. I should still probably have some like uh, like a roof or something over these railways or something. But actually in in this uh update Mobs, they don't usually go on minecart tracks. I don't know. I feel like hostile mobs would still chase you. So, I don't know. I don't really feel like testing that out, but... If you haven't seen it... Oh, I think I hit it there. If you haven't seen it, well, I'm going to my slime farm, so... Get to see it. Bye, Ryan Flesh. I don't want you... I'm not really going to the slime farm for anything useful. I don't plan on using... Why am I getting such bad frames? Whatever. I don't plan on using sticky pistons this episode because... Uh, there's a medium slime. Because today I said I was going to uh, uh, work on my storage, my egg storage for my chicken farm. I don't know how long that, that this episode will be. I'm definitely going to cut out parts of it, like what I did with, uh, with, uh, last episode. So it'll be, like, obviously this will be part one, where I just, like, talk about what I'm going to do and show you what's supposed to happen. Actually, I think I do have the basics of what I'm going to do set up in a creative world, but... Uh, you'll just have to wait till the end to see what will happen. Then I'm gonna clear out big area, and to be honest, I have no idea how big I want it to be. I probably should have done some estimates, but yeah, that was that, in case you haven't seen it. So basically, I'm just gonna be hollowing out a big underground area and hope that it'll be a decent size. It, sh it should be just fine. I just realized I picked up that rotten flesh on my way back. Oh, what was that? I fell. My bridge. I still haven't taken down this centerpiece right here. I don't... To be honest, I probably never will. Because I don't really... Eh, I guess I could reach it. Can I reach it from here? No. I don't really want to, but it's not, eh, it's not that big of a problem. Dang it. I thought I had that jump down. So, this, this chest is full. This one's got nothing in it. The hopper's full. This is almost full. I think I'm going to temporarily shut this off. Probably should have brought more dirt. But. There. Shut off. So, I think. Um, I wonder if like a 15 by 15 area would be good. How big is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, I think. So that's 17. 15 will be from here to here. I think that'll be fine. So I'm, I'll get back to you when I have that all hollowed out, and I will see you later. Okay, so I got it hollowed out, and these chests. I moved half of a large chest because there's still one down there. Didn't really want to bother with it. I think I'll move it soon. Though. So this is all the extra stuff that was here. Uh, let's go down here. So I'm going to replace the current roof with spruce wood and I think I might do the floor as that too. And I'm thinking maybe uh, stone bricks for the walls. Maybe. I don't know. And I don't really like this uh, this just random hole right here. But there really isn't much of a way I can 
patch up, I mean a trap door, but... So I don't actually accidentally fall down in it, but... It's still gonna be there, and I'll just have to deal with it. I just put the trap door on the wrong side. Yeah, I can't even get out anymore. I'm stupid. Wow. Really? Trap doors take that long to break? Didn't know that. There you go. Mm, I should have enough spruce wood in my inventory. I know I definitely have enough, like, laying around, but... I assume I have enough. I just heard a skeleton. I got, I got 29 uh, iron ore just from hollowing this out, so that's good. That was a little too much, but whatever. it'll be fine for now. Um, how long is this going to take? Shouldn't take too long. Go there, there, and there. So this will be four blocks tall. Yeah, four blocks tall. I think this will be fine. I don't think I'll have any problems with that, but who knows? Maybe I'll end up changing it later. So now I gotta move this chest. And so it rains eggs on me. Do I have the chest? No, I do not. Get it, get it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Really? Oh. There we go. I'm stupid. And now... I don't... Okay. There was uh, something in the game where you could double click and it would just empty everything of that item into a chest. You. But they took that out. But it seems like... It still somewhat works in a sort of glitchy-ish way. I don't know if it's supposed to happen, but it does sometimes. So there we go. Tomorrow, Die Rise is coming out. I'm still... I think I will buy the Season Pass. I mean, if I get one crappy map pack, I'm going to be pissed. Because... <laughs> because if I get a crappy map pack and I just don't even like playing on any of the maps, then I lost money. I didn't I didn't save ten dollars like I would normally. But hopefully hopefully the zombie maps that come with it will be worth it. Maybe. They better be. So I don't know how many of you have uh, a PVR. I have a Hop Hog PVR2, the gaming edition. Something screwed up. I don't know. I think it's something to do with my computer. I can still, I'll still have videos of Die Rise. Hopefully tomorrow. Should be tomorrow. But there's something, and I think it's still in beta. Something that Hop Hog is doing. There's like a, a program called like Streamies or something. I think that's right. And something's like I said something's being retarded and I can't like install it I think I'm having a problem with installing the driver altogether so I kind of wanted to live stream and that's what that program does I don't think I mentioned that but I I've tried well actually I shouldn't say I have tried uninstalling the driver because to be honest I don't really know how to do that Google searched it, but that didn't help. Maybe you should use Bing. I don't know. Supposedly Bing is better than Google. Maybe it is. I don't know. I don't really use Bing, so I wouldn't know. Spider-Man uses Bing. I don't know if you've seen uh, the, not the original, but the remade version of Spider-Man, and it's only halfway through the day. But he, he uses Bing a few times in the movie, even. So, if Spider-Man uses it, everyone should use it. I mean, that's that's pretty much why it was in the movie. Advertising. Maybe. 
Maybe maybe the developers are developers, it's not the game. Maybe the producers of that movie used Bing and they just wanted to put that in. Who knows? I almost want to uh and I say almost because still I don't want to. I almost want to call like customer support because uh because hopefully they could help me better than emailing them and waiting three days to get back with oh well that's too bad have you tried this oh as a matter of fact I have tried that at least nine times so screw you you don't help so in that case customer support would probably be better but I don't like to talking to customer support I guess it it won't be too bad because I'm not trying to like unsubscribe to them I'm just asking for help but I don't want to be on the phone for an hour just asking pretty much the same question <laughs> I don't I don't know about you but I'm really bad at like talking to talking to strangers I was never taught to talk to strangers anyways stay away and again, it is over the phone. And never mind. <laughs> Last time I called customer support, and I'm pretty sure it was the only time I called, actually. I was calling Microsoft to cancel my Xbox Live subscription. That was annoying. Because, obviously, they don't want to lose money, so they're going to try and sell you something that you're trying to get rid of because they're retarded. And... What I use to get uh, Xbox Live, you've probably heard of these websites. Basically, you just do random crap and they give you points and then you can redeem points and get free stuff. It's really annoying, but like I said, it's free. So, yeah, that's how I get my Xbox Live. And that's, that's kind of why I wanted to cancel the subscription. But, another reason, I don't have any spruce wood left. Dang it. Another reason is because I think Microsoft was having a deal. It was like, I don't even know. I feel like they had like a month for a dollar or something. I don't even know. But either way, uh, my parents' credit card was on the my account. And I was, oh, hello. And I was using, uh, or like, yeah, I was using their credit card to pay for my Xbox Live, and then I would pay for them. Or pay them for the Xbox Live. I'm sure you've done that before. And, let's see, hold on. Let me stop the story. I forgot what I was looking for. Spruce wood. Spruce. That should be more than enough. So, basically, obviously, I mean, if I'm... Did I ever fix this hole? Yeah, I did. Obviously, if I have my parents' credit card on my account and I'm currently using Xbox Live, obviously I want them to auto-renew it, says them, and this was on their website, and then they like took it off, and it's been on and off their website a lot, but you used to be able to cancel the auto-renew, but of course when I wanted to cancel it, they didn't have it, so I had to you know, call customer support. And I was probably on the phone for almost a half an hour. It, the time I was on it wasn't too bad, but like I said, I always hate talking to customer support. Because for one, I'm talking to someone that I don't even know, which I guess I'm kind of doing right now. I'm surprised monsters didn't spawn in here. I got lucky. But, let's see. I called him, and he's like, so why, so why do you want to uh, to cancel your subscription? And I'm telling him, I'm like, see, what did I tell him? <laughs> told him to screw off. That's what I told him. No, I didn't. I uh, I told him, I don't even remember. Or like, I don't know if I was talking about uh, I wanted to cancel my auto renew or if I wanted to just cancel. I think I was wanted to cancel Xbox Live is what I told him and he's like oh so 
so what do you like doing on the Xbox? And I'm telling him, I'm like, oh, I like to do this and that and other stuff. Talk to my friends and, of course, I... Damn it. <laughs> of course, I ended the sentence with, uh, and, uh, play on mine. As soon as I said that, I'm like, why did I say that? Of course, now he's gonna try and sell me. He's like, oh, well, well, if you like playing on it, playing online, why, why do you want to cancel your subscription? Shut up. I don't, I want to cancel it because Microsoft, Microsoft is gay, okay? Deal with it. Oh my gosh, how much coal is here? So, eventually, yes, I did get it canceled, and I'm still getting my Xbox Live for free. Ha! Screw you, Microsoft. It's not illegal, don't worry. I, I'm not stealing from Microsoft. I don't hate them that much, in which I would steal that much from them. <laughs> Maybe I do, I don't know. If you've talked to customer support, yeah, tell me in the comments, I guess. Because... It's always interesting to hear how people react to like them talking to customer support. But I said I was going to update you when this was hollowed out and it was. So next update I give you, I will hopefully have the mechanism in and I will see you see you later. All right, so it's finally, well, actually it's not finished, but uh like the basics of what it's going to be doing is finished so I'll show you that fixed wait hold on yeah that's part of the new update apparently no whirlpools in water anymore so that's that's nice so I'm gonna get rid of this wood and the what I have set up it might be a little messed up or it might get a little messed up to start with because it's not really meant to uh, have eggs like this fast so you hear the dropper and I might pick some up did I no I didn't my inventory is almost completely full so this dropper whenever there's something in the dropper it will it will dispense it and this hopper will pick it up and put it into this chest and hold on let me sleep I don't want monsters spawning up above me so when this chest is full then it will disable this hopper so uh, when the chest is full occasionally there might be like a few eggs in here but it shouldn't have any but Whoops. When this gets full, it will shut this hopper off, and if hoppers are turned off, it won't even pick up stuff, so then it will move to this one, and same thing will happen there. And then once it gets to the corner, this isn't, like, I think it will keep it like this, but it's not 100% reliable, so we'll get to the end. It will get to the end, and then... Oh wait, did I have something else in there? Oh no, wait, never mind. And then when this hop, this dropper is filled, then it will dispense something. But in order for uh, like redstone not to be sh actually, I had to yeah. I don't think I could have gotten this to work anyway. So I had to use repeater, so there's a slight delay. So it dispenses twice when it really shouldn't. But when it reaches the corner, it will dispense it, and most of the time, maybe occasionally, it won't dispense it, but it'll put it in that block, and then it will go up into the water, and then I can have more of these over here. And I don't know if I'll have it go around the whole room and then back up over there. I probably won't, but we'll see. So let me just show you the redstone behind it. It's pretty pretty basic so what I have is uh, this is filled completely so when this large chest is filled then this comparator will emit 15 15 blocks and I didn't want to have this uh, go all the way out here then come back 
So what I did is I placed down a redstone torch and when this redstone signal is stronger or equally strong as this one, then it will display or display. It will uh, output a signal. So if I remove this, then it will turn it off. And this is actually one item away from being full. So when this gets filled, then it will turn on and then everything will move back down to over here. Um, let's see. The hopper. Uh, do I have an, a simple one out? Yeah, I guess this one is the most obvious one. So, stuff will be put into here, and then this hopper will put it into the dropper. Then I have comparators here. So, if this has one item in it, then the comparator will output a signal. Then it will power this block, and then it will power this redstone, which will power this comparator. And the reason this is a comparator is because if this was a repeater, then if there were multiple items in here, then it wouldn't dispense them all. At least I don't think it would. Let's see. Let's put in a few. Yeah, it'll only dispense one. And so if you have the comparator, then it will rapidly dispense them all. And since this one's full, then it will go on to here and... Alright, currently I have this torch. This uh, hopper was uh, disabled, so what? it wasn't a glitch. This was actually technically supposed to do that. But... Um... Let's see. Yeah, I couldn't do, I couldn't do that same thing over here. Because, actually, why couldn't I do it? Oh, yeah, because this has to power the block next to it. And if I did that, then it would disable this hopper. So, that is... I think I went over it all. I hope so. So, I hope you like this video. Hope you like this episode. I hope you like my story about uh, talking to customer service. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please do. And I will see you later. Bye.